Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up PiFi on a Windows device. So you might have seen from a previous video that we set up PiFi using a Raspberry Pi. So since then the PiFi team have released a Windows version of the PiFi software. So in this video we're going to go over what components you need to install it on a Windows PC and then secondly we'll be going through the setup on a Windows device. So without further ado let's dive into what components are needed. So number one, you're going to need a compatible air quality sensor. And the one we're going to be using in this video is the Kaitera Sense Edge Mini. So on the right here, you can see a list of supported sensors that will work with the PiFi network. Number two, you need a Windows PC. Now, if you look at the video just before this one, I actually did a review of this Balkan Mini PC, which is going to be perfect for this project. The beauty of this Bowen PC, it's very low power and as you've seen from a lot of my videos, I try and go for crypto projects that are very low maintenance and very low powered if possible. And this fits the bill. It's only a couple of watts to power this, so I think it's ideal for this project. Again, you can use any Windows PC you want, but in terms of spec and low power, I would recommend a mini PC, something like this Bowen. Number three, you need a USB GPS dongle. And for this, it's something like a VK162 or a 172. GPS module. And finally, number four, you need to purchase a PiFi software license. The current version of the software is called PiFi Mocha. So I'll leave links in the description to all of these items where you can purchase the hardware and also the software license. So once you've purchased the PiFi software license, you'll be sent an email with your own unique license key. So once you've got all the components together and the software license, we're ready to progress to the next stage, which is installing the software. Okay, so now we're ready for the second part of the video. I've just done a remote desktop to the Bowen Mini PC and it's got Windows 11 already installed on it. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the PiFi website and download the software. So that's the address at the top that you need to go to. And what we're gonna do is go to the downloads menu at the top. So once you're on the download software page, just select the top one, which is the Mocha software for the Windows version. So we're going to click on there. And it's about 55 megabytes. So the Edge browser might flag a warning about the actual installer, but that's fine. All you need to do is click on see more. Hover over there and click on the three dots. And then say keep. And then on here, there'll be a little option that says show more click the down arrow and click on keep anywhere and you should now be able to click on open file so just before I install it I'm just going to click on options and that should just give you an idea of how much space you're going to need for the installation of the Mocha software it's about 120 megabytes which is fine so we'll just go ahead and click on install so it's just opened up a DOS window there and asking us if we agree to the terms so we're going to go ahead and press Y and then enter. So here we are several minutes later and it looks like the installation is complete. So we're just going to go ahead and click on the launch PiFi network software button. So you might get a Windows security alert like this just saying that the firewall has blocked some of the features of the app. Just go ahead and either just allow access with what's clicked there or you can click both of them depending on what your setup is like at the moment. I've just clicked both which should be fine. Allow access. So you should get a message that pops up and says software started successfully. So the next thing you need to do is just open up a web browser and go to this address which is localhost colon 31415. Once you've done that you should get an activate license page. So once you're on this page, enter the email, the password and the license key that was emailed to you. Now click activate and you should see something like this. So at this point, make sure that you've got the GPS G mouse connected to the USB port. And if it is connected, you'll get a GPS connected with a green tick next to it like this. So the next thing we'll do is follow the setup guide here at the top to get the device activated. So step one, add a sensor. I'm going to click on the plus button 
I'm going to choose a type of connector. And the one we've got is a Sense Edge Mini. Next thing is choose the room name where it's located. We'll just go with living room. In the sensor description box, just enter some information. Then enter the IP address of the sensor in here and then click on add sensors. It says hooray and it looks like it's successfully added it. So now we can see where it says connected sensors, it's just down here. So before we proceed to the next step of the setup guide, there's a slight change you need to make to the SenseEdge Mini settings. And that change is called the BACnet ID. And the way you change it is, first of all, connect to the Wi-Fi of the SenseEdge Mini, go into the configure menu down here, and then basically what you will see is if you've never changed it before, it should say BACnet ID is empty or disabled. What you need to do is just click on it and change it to 31415 and then save the settings. And that's all you need to do. So once you've made that change, let's go back to the setup guide. And we're going to go to step two, activate device. So in here, we're going to enter your email address, enter the password, enter the license key and then the wallet address. Now I'm not going to go over how you add a wallet. If you go and watch the other Pi 5 video I made on the Raspberry Pi, that explains how to get the wallet address. So just go ahead and follow that. Once you've entered all the details, click on activate plus. And you should get a message saying, hooray, activation request has been put in place. And then just click on OK. So now if you go back into the setup guide and click on step two, activate device, it should say device has already been activated. If you ever wanted to update the wallet, you can click on this tab and you can put a new wallet address in there. If you click on device info, this will give you all the information you need. First of all, about the software version you're on, including the device name just over here, your license key, and then what the current wallet address is just down here. So let's go back to the setup guide one more time. So we've already covered steps one and two to add the sensor and activate the device. We're now going to go to step three, which is to connect the sensor to the Pi-Fi network. So from here, we need to go to that address, which is the dashboard. So then we're going to log into it from this box here on the top right. We're going to enter the email address and password, clicking on next. You should then get a verification code sent to your email. Then once that's done, enter the verification code here and click on verify code. Then all you need to do is click on the register button right here to register the device on the network. And once that's done, you should see it saying connected true. So I've gone back on the sensors page and as you can see, my sense edge mini is now saying connected true. And if we go to the dashboard page, it's all connected and you can see it's got a GPS lock. My GPS is connected. It's given me a score. On this next bit, it gives you the device activation status. As you can see, it's got a good signal and it's telling me live GPS data has been sent. So if we scroll down a bit on the dashboard, you can see some nice graphs about the data that's been sent, about the different types of readings. So it looks like the Sense Edge Mini is all connected up to the Pi-Fi network and you're good to go. So I hope this video gives you all the information you need to set up your sensor on the Pi-Fi network. I'll leave links in the description to all the hardware that I've used and also the software license. I'll also include links to the Pi-Fi network webpage and also links to their Discord, which is fantastic. So go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.